Hello, um, my name is Lamin, and uh, in this tutorial, we're just gonna look at how to convert um, how to convert um, temperature. Okay, first of all, I would just like to remind you what you've done last um, the last tutorial. Um, we've looked at how to calculate um, the basic um, to do some basic calculations, and uh, I'll just open it for you and show you how that works. Uh, sorry, that's not it. Uh, we come to integers. I've showed you how to make some basic calculations, and if we we've seen how the calculations are made. This time we want um, to do um, some basic calculations, but those basic calculations will be based on how to convert um, Fahrenheit to Celsius. So we want to know how to calculate Fahrenheit to Celsius. Um, so let's do it then. We come here. We start opening a new class. In the new class, we say temp. Let's just call it temp. Okay. Temp, right? Do that. Go for it. I hope you remember all this stuff. Because if you don't, you really struggle in this lesson. I'd like to introduce something called the input. What the input does? The input is a library. Um, it's just, um, sorry. Um, it's uh, it's a language from the library that helps you to actually input something for it to give you something. So if we say input Java from the library Java util from the util part Java util sorry one minute made a mistake here. So if I say Java dot u okay we got that. So here. What we want to do, we can even just just get this start out. Let's call it kind of okay. It's much more appropriate that way. So you can leave it with the star anyway, but I like calling it a name like scanner, reader, input. Like those are much more sensible names. So if we actually we'll just do that, first of all, what I do is we try to put this input in our programming. So scanner reader okay we can call it reader or we can just say that okay sc let's call it sc that's uh if it's much more easier to write and all that stuff so we say just new new scanner uh bracket we call it system dot in okay what this do this will actually bring the input system in our program. So now we need some variables. We declare our variables. We call double. What doubles means? Double is it can count um, zero point five. It can co it can count decimal numbers, while while int can only count um, can only hold um, integers. Okay. So we are using uh, decimal numbers here, so we don't need int in this. So we need um, something called um, uh, um, double. So we call this Fahrenheit. I hope it's spelled that way. Perfect. Okay, we call, we declared our Fahrenheit, so we call our Celsius. Um, Celsius. Okay, we've declared our Fahrenheit cloud Celsius. Before we do anything, what fun thing we need to do is when we press enter, what do we want to see? We want to see that it tells us enter the degree, the, uh, the degrees Fahrenheit. So enter the degrees Fahrenheit that we want to see. So let's do that then. System dot out dot print line. Okay, so it's just going to be a comment, let's say. Enter the let's say degrees okay for you know we can just say Fahrenheit and Fahrenheit and uh, we can do this if we do this we close that okay if we play that before we put our actual code in if we play that it's gonna give us that so now we need to build a code that is going to allow us to write something after that. So, and that code will be so simple that you will actually say, Oh my god, how did I do this? 
oh yeah you did this just by doing this so um, that's the way of doing it uh, that we need to now we need to now initialize it we need to like we've declared the Fahrenheit so now we need to deinitialize it so this is the way to initialize a variable okay Fahrenheit equals to uh, equals to oh what we're doing right now is just to make it clear to you what we're doing now is to make it make sure that the input it lets us put something to type something so we just sc dot sorry dot next okay we press enter it gives us that so it's it's telling you that now Lamin I have given you the chance for you to type something in this okay I've given you the chance for you to type something in here so that's this but what do you want to type so now what we do is we now we come back here we declare we declare the variable so what is the variable the, uh, sorry the Celsius so let's declare so let's declare the the other variable so the other variable is Celsius so if we say Celsius equals mm. to so in this case we need to go to Google and try to Google we're trying to we need to, like going to Google trying to look how um the calculation how to convert from Celsius to or from Fahrenheit to Celsius or Celsius Celsius to Fahrenheit. Well I have actually got a basic one here that I have already made my research already. So we will just say um, Celsius equals to Fahrenheit. Okay. Um, minus 32 in this thing so we just say Fahrenheit minus 32 minus 32 times times 5 okay dot 0 okay 9 dot 0 and that's our calculation that's all if you think um, this is not correct because this calculation is not correct what you do is just try yourself um, go to Google and try to find a better calculation. So basically, you just go and look the formula to calculate from this to um, from Fahrenheit to Celsius and Celsius to Fahrenheit. So I think this is the way, right way to do it. But just to be in the right way, um, you can also go and Google something and try to find find the right the right one. So we want to output that now. We've done everything. We just need to output it. So how do you output this? You remember the hello world? Okay, system dot out dot print. Okay, dot print line. You know, let's in this case, let's use everything. I wanted to use a print, but I think let's just use print line because, as I told you last time, a print is making everything to be in one line. And uh, yeah, I think let's just leave it print line so it just gives us it just break it down line by line so we understand what we're doing. So let's leave it as print line. Okay. So print line um, in the in in here we can say uh, the equivalent in Celsius is that okay so you can say the the equivalent of Celsius is okay that that can be your first statement it's gonna be say. And then what you do is you just we print out the cell we print out the Celsius then so you say system dot out dot print line okay dot print line um, oh by the way here we can just make it print so that it will be print the same line with this one with the Celsius so if we just make it as print there and we say we put the Celsius here sorry we put the Celsius here okay and uh, we can say we can type something out we say thanks thanks for printing something out something like that so uh, mm, just printing out something right so here we can just put here say thanks for using my, my conversion Thanks. Okay, so in this case, 
I don't know where you know, but I think you actually have done everything. So you've actually made your own program that you convert Fahrenheit to Celsius without even going to Google to try and find how to convert from that to that. So you can use this program all the time that you need um, to convert something. Let's try it before we say it's done. So it's telling you, enter the degrees Fahrenheit. I will enter a degrees Fahrenheit. So let's say 212. If you remember 212, 212 is always going to give you what? If you remember, guess it. This is it. It gives you 100. 212 will give you 100 Celsius. Okay? If you remember this, I think 44.6, if I don't make a mistake, will give you 7. If I enter that, will give us 7. So you can actually see that this is actually working for you. You've basically made everything in 10 minutes. You've actually made yourself a program that calculates everything um, from Celsius, sorry, from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So I hope you like this program. Sorry for any inconvenience. Okay, and uh, see you in my next video. Thank you.